I would love that. Can you make that happen? Well, you know, we can work on it. You know, I can start. <laughs> I can start tweeting Taylor. You know. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we can. That's really funny because I do have some people that tweet me to Taylor Swift and and Ellen, and it's really cool. And my good friend Chad Parker, she um she is always tweeting me to Ellen, and that's super cool. I love that. <laughs> I uh, I got a tweet today, I guess, uh, let's see, who was it from? He sent me just a beautiful picture of you. It was from John. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's he's always snapping pictures and, and putting them on Twitter. Yes, he is a, he's my photographer, one of my photographers. Yeah. So you know you made it big time when you've got your own photographer. <laughs> <laughs> he's not my personal photographer, but he uh, occasionally will show up when I'm in Nashville. and He does uh, so much of my promo work and everything he's just a really great photographer and if any artist listening needs photographer definitely check him out yeah john's so. the man i mean um uh, tr it's not hard to make you look pretty but i mean he oh. he, he does a, he does a good job thank you so much right <laughs> right uh okay now i do want to go ahead and play a song because it, i i tend to to jabber a lot so i want to make sure we get them both in um now See, I, I wanted to play my favorite one first, but I don't know which one to play, so I'm just going to pick one. Um, the first one I'm going to play, it's it's called Come Home. Um, yeah. Now, did you write this yourself? Yes, I did. Okay, so tell me about this. What's this song about? Uh, this song is about all the military families that, um, that have soldiers, you know, husbands, wives, uh, sons and daughters overseas fighting for our country during the holidays. And really, they just want them to be home with them. Well, that's really, I mean, and you and you wrote this, you wrote this yourself. Yes, I did. I wrote this last Christmas. Oh, this is sweet. This is a great song. And I, and this kind of hits home for me because I live uh, in Clarksville, Tennessee, and it's um, right next door to Fort Campbell Army Base. So we have a lot of um, servicemen and women that are, that are, that are close to home here. And I'm sure they would love um, to hear this song for sure. Um, but I guess it's just your way of shouting out and thanking them for what they do, huh? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And there's actually a video um, on YouTube for this song. You can go and look that up. <laughs> I need to, you know, I I must have missed that. I'm going to have to watch that after the show. Would you um, yeah. would you post a link to that on my uh, on my website? Yeah. Sweet, sweet. I'll check that out then. So this is called "Come Home," Meadow Ryan, right here on the Chris Top program. <laughs> Oh, 
Definitely, definitely feel the emotion uh, in that song. That's one of those. That's one of those pieces that you, I guess, you feel more than you actually hear it. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, well, no problem, no problem. Now, okay, now I've got to ask you about this. Now, you said you were working on on two LPs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so give me some more details on those. Like, when 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 can we look for those? Uh, are they going to be up up to buy on you on uh, iTunes or or what? Yes, those will definitely be on iTunes. Um, I don't know when they're going to be out, which is the bad thing, mm -hmm. but um, hopefully very, very soon. Um, Meadow, so you got to find out a date. You're killing me. I know. I know. <laughs> we really struggled with that for a long time. We don't, uh, we're really bad. We <laughs> that stuff, but um, very soon, very soon. Now, is, um, are they, can, are they, are the songs they're already written and produced or are you still yes, working on all yes. that? Okay. Actually, I've been recording uh, with Joel Jackson Productions. He's a, a great producer here in New Albany. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was recording with him all week, this week and last week. So uh, today we finished up the last song on the EP. So now we just got to produce everything and work his magic, and uh, that'll be done. Also, I've been recording with New Albany Production House, which obviously is in New Albany as well, and they do phenomenal work. Um, and uh, Richie has been producing my album, and it's gonna be so crazy. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> now, okay, so so just maybe a guesstimate. Are we looking at it before next summer, or is that? Yes, most definitely. Okay, most definitely. So, okay, so so you're just gonna make me wait, just maybe tops, maybe two or three months. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now maybe and those are called uh, Stronger Now, uh, which that one will be produced at New Albany Production House, and the other one is gonna be called. Uh, Chasing Hollywood, and that one is obviously uh, by Joel Jackson. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, super exciting. It is exciting, it, but I, I hate having to wait, though. I know, I do too. <laughs> I really want to put them out because I can hear, I've been able to hear them, and uh, it makes me so excited, and I want to just post all of them already but I it's got to be tough i mean when you when you create something like that and you're so proud of it and you just you just want to get it out there but i guess the timing is everything huh exactly it is oh, you're killing me too though maybe if i maybe if i talk to your mom sometime she'll like send me one or two just so i can hear it. <laughs> maybe and we have a top secret video coming out very no. shortly, way before the album See, um, now, now you're and, teasing me yeah and the bad thing is i'm keeping a secret what the song is that i'm coming out with so, oh. you don't know. It's and, amazing. And I can't even tell you if it's a cover or an original. Oh, you're killing me. Huge surprise. <laughs> you're killing me. Uh, okay, so if somebody wants to buy something that's out right now, how do they how do they go find that? Definitely. iTunes is a huge one. iTunes and Amazon and Google Play. All my music is on there. You can check it out. Also, I have physical copies of my CD um, called Brave on Amazon and I have physical copies as you guys might have just said that for that today. Okay, so <laughs> if somebody if somebody buys a physical copy, uh would do you uh, autograph those or can you do that? Most definitely. All the time. Autograph every single one. 
Okay, and do you have other merchandise as well, or just the CDs and the music? Yeah, right yeah, now? yeah. I have tons of merchandise. I have T-shirts and CDs and posters and magnets and lanyards and keychains. You got everything. Carpet, everything. <laughs> so somebody could go to your concert with a with a Meadow Ryan T-shirt and rock that out. Do you have koozies yes. yet? Yes, I do have koozies. As so well. you got it all. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's big time. Uh, okay, so. If you weren't singing, if you weren't performing and writing music, what would you be doing? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think I would be a makeup artist. Cause I love makeup. So now you're into you're into makeup too. And I'm actually I'm very excited too because um, Joel Jackson is producing a video for one of my good friends, Ashley Ledrick. She's also a musician, so go check her out. Um, they're doing their video, or he's doing her video this weekend, and I get the privilege to do her hair and makeup. Oh, so that's really cool. Hair and makeup video, uh, hair and makeup gig. So I'm pretty excited. That's neat. So you're you're sort of getting in there and getting your feet wet with everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm exploring everything. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's good to keep your options open, but I mean, you know, I I can just I just see you. Well, not see you, but I hear you on the radio already. <laughs> you know. And, and I just, I, I feel like if anybody's got a chance, it's, it's going to be somebody like you because, and I'll tell you why, you know, you, you go to a place like Nashville and it's just riddled with, with, uh, talented people, um, not only talented people, but, but attractive, talented people. So, I mean, you, you've got to, to have something that, um, that sets you apart, I think from, from everybody else. And I, and I think that thing with you is that you just have a way of connecting, I think, with the listeners, not, not only through your music, um, but uh, just through your, through your attitude and, and, and the way you carry yourself and the things that you do. And it's, it's, it's a great connection, and it's a great gift to have, and you can't teach somebody that stuff. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. Well, for sure. That's what it's all about, just like you said, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many talented people and you have to have something that sets you apart so that's really cool to hear you say that thank you well it is it is and and um i guess um that a lot of that too goes back to to how you were raised so i mean i, I if your mom was here i'd give her a high five high five, high five. <laughs> <laughs> now okay so so with your with your uh, your talents with your music and your songwriting and stuff like that, you're you're actually using that to um, to do a little work uh, that's um, that's good work, like for charity. Now, what's what's up with all that? Yeah, well, um, I am currently a title holder in the Miss America organization. So, um, my title is Miss South Central's Outstanding Team, and the Outstanding Team program is a sister pageant to the Miss America organization. Um, so in June, I'll be competing for Miss Indiana's Outstanding Team. And my platform is Music with a Meaning. And what I do is I go around to schools, community functions, and charity events. And I talk to the kids and raise money for uh, people or anybody who has any medical um, facilities and needs financial support. Uh, while doing that, I talk to the kids and everyone around about how important it is to believe in yourself and follow your dreams. And I try to inspire them through music to do that. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to lately. What a great message. And you know, it's always really cool. I think when somebody can do something that they absolutely love and then they use it to do something that's, that's good, I think yeah. for, for the community and not, well, not only community, but the, the world. Exactly. I love, I love doing it. Uh, I've been to a couple of schools so far and a couple uh, community events. I've also organized several charity events and raised close to $8,000 in total, which is really huge for me. Um, and I absolutely love doing it. So it's super great. And if any schools are listening, please hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how far are you willing to travel for that, for that stuff? Anywhere, anywhere we have to go. Well, see, there you go. So there, there you go, listeners. If if you want to get a a concert from from Meadow and you want her to come out there and do some good, then just uh, I get, how do they get in touch with you for that? Um, you can look me up on Facebook. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, my name is Meadow Ryan. Um, also my website MeadowRyan.com. 
And also, if you're interested in music with meaning, I have um, all social media uh, for that.